Hello, welcome to another Creature Tutorial. This tutorial is about the new post-process effects video feature of Creature. To start off, I'm going to load up the new post-process editor, and the way you load it is you move your mouse over to the post-process button located conveniently on the toolbar, toolbar and click on it. Okay, so the new window pops up. All right, so this is the post-process window. I'm going to move it side by side with our main creature editor window, the animation editor window, so you can see what's going on. Now, the post-process window mirrors what's going on in the animation editor. So if I step through the frames or scrub through the frames, you can see it actually follows the animation, right? So it shows you exactly what what's going on in the animation editor, except you're actually able to apply different kinds of effects to the results over here. Now the scrolling and zooming in operations, the commands, the mouse co uh, controls are exactly the same as they are in the main animation editor, right? So you right click and drag to, to, to pan around and then you scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out, okay? All right, so what effects can we add to using the video post-process uh, filter window? So we can add a couple of things. You can do some cool pixel art effects, for example. So you can see now it's got a nice pixel art feel. Now if I play through it, right, you can see a post-process pixel art effect has been applied to the animation on the left in the post-process window. Okay, and I can config configure this. So there's different options. You can change the block size of the pixelation. So if I set it to say 64, the block size is larger, okay? And I can obviously go up in resolution. I can set it back to say 256. All right, and now you get a slightly pixelized retro effect on the results on the left compared to the, to the crisp, sharp result on the right. Okay, so that is the pixel art filter. So let me set it back to 128. Okay, all right, and you can play that. Now another filter you can add is you can add the shimmer filter. Okay, this gives it a shimmering effect and it's all kinds of knobs and options you can play with. You can change the amount of distortion. You can change how quickly it, it rises and dissipates. You can change the speed, okay? And that's what you get. So you get a shimmering effect, like a flame effect applied, like a heat wave, heat haze effect. I think that's the best way to describe it. A heat haze effect applied to the results over here. Now what's cool about the video post-process uh, filter list is that you can chain these effects together. So notice I have the pixelation filter applied to this character here, and then I applied the shimmering effect, okay? And then I can apply another like effect like brightness and contrast. So I can come in here and I can brighten the character, all right? For example, I can, I can make it more contrasty, right? So there's all these different things you can do with these filters. Okay, let me remove that effect right now. So it's a very powerful, mechanism to allow you allow you to apply post-process filters and i'm going to add more filters in the future if you guys want other kinds of special effects filters for your post video editing and finally you can export the output video into a sequence of images a gif or a movie you can also tweak the resolution you can tweak the the the, the base resolution of the exported output by clicking on the resolution button and that would show you the result resolution and you can also do cropping so you can actually come in and you know say I only want to say export this portion of the image so you just hold down the left mouse button and outline and drag and out draw an outline rectangle and that will give you a cropped image okay so it's really simple so I hope you have fun with the new post processing filter it's very useful for various effects especially if you want to do some kind of pixel art effect or any other kind of filter effect. It could be very useful for any kind of post video editing. And you don't have to take the results of Creature into another video editing tool if you're doing some simple post process filters. Okay, so that's basically it for post process filters. Hope you have fun with Creature Animation.